Sonic Hentai. What is it, and why is it such a blemish on the Sonic fan base? Well, let me answer my own question, starting with a simple definition. Based on what is said on Wikipedia, and trust me, it took me a while to press the enter button because I was fearing I would get irreversibly traumatized. Hentai is uh, sexually explicit or pornographic comics or animation, particularly Japanese anime, manga, and computer games. Oh wait, manga. <laughs> Sorry. So the question is, who is making this crap and why the hell does it exist? Does it have something to do with someone's hormones flying off the chart? Or some fangirl who delves into strange fantasies because they can't do it in real life? Whatever the reason, Sonic Hentai is the byproduct of it, and it's a goddamn eyesore. You can bet the existence of this crap is unacceptable, but it's still there. What is it? Is it a form of the fans' creativity of pushing the limits of sanity? Whatever this damnable thing is, it's an eyesore, and I don't do not recommend seeing it. Unless, of course, if you've been traumatized to the point that you're desensitized to Sonic making it with Amy, that's up your alley. Seriously, why the hell is it here? Why is it that these people systematically raped my childhood and took the innocence of the Sonic characters away? I mean, Sonic is a hedgehog. You don't normally see Sonic stopping in the middle of the zone and say, Oh, hey, Tails, how about a quickie? Or, hey, Shadow, I'm going to sex you up. Or that kind of crap. The other Sonic characters follow the same principle. you never seen Tails having sex. I mean, come on, he's too young for that crap. He hasn't even matured yet to understand it, let alone perform such acts. And then there are those who make Sonic look like a fag. What the hell is this bullcrap? Sonic has feeling for Shadow? I mean, it would help if the frickin' feelings between them were only limited to emotional ties and romantic dialogue, instead of the all-out deviant acts of sexual perversion. There are even those that show Sonic making it with Tails. Tails, his best friend and worthy apprentice being deflowered by an older hedgehog who's supposed to be his role model. Kind of make it seem like a form of pedophilia, huh? The last the list goes on and on with the possibilities that Sonic Hentai could take the form of. Sonic and Silver, Sonic and Amy, Sonic and Tails, Shadow and Tails, Shadow and Amy, blah, 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 blah. It goes on and on. Would you want to see this nonsense? If you're a couple supporter and you really like Sonic and Amy paired together, then I guess it would make sense to see them kissing. I mean, at least it's not se severely traumatizing. It doesn't make your brain melt. When you see them going all out in the bedroom, then someone should draw the line. This nonsense is extraneous to the personalities that the Sonic characters possess. Screw the fans' creativity. They're making Sonic and the franchise look like a farce. Not only does this toxic Sonic hentai have a presence, but its prevalence is shocking. The supernormal increase of such Sonic pornography has sullied the reputations of many websites. DeviantArt has become a victim of this nonsense. YouTube is but one example of a video website that demonstrates the prevalence of this crap. Sure, it's reserved for, pl for some places like furinfinity.net, who wouldn't expect it there? But this crap has penetrated to even our most dear of information retrieval systems. Search engines. Yes, even Google has been under the influence of such filth. Even if you typed in the query tales with safe search on. Okay, now this is an important detail here. You would still find a pic of Sonic raping tales. And this is with safe search on. Try explaining this, to, this mess to a 10-year-old on the web trying to find pics of tales for their WMM movies or whatever they need them for. Now, you proponents of Sonic Hentai may be thinking, Well, you shouldn't be watching it then, blah, 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 leave us alone. And the Chris Crocker impression is jettisoned. But I say, well, there's no way in hell we can avoid it. Type in any query in DeviantArt relating to Sonic or any Sonic characters, and most of the time, Sonic Hentai is present. Typing in the query Sonic and Shadow can yield some pretty brain-melting results, and unwanted images that leave you traumatized. The problem is, DeviantArt doesn't have a safe search, so nothing is blotted out from the search, and hence complaints of being... Traumatized by Sonic Hentai have appeared at breakneck speed, and I don't blame them for seeing this crap. This is a load of garbage. Let me say one thing, though. I have nothing against furries. I don't have any qualms with them. But the fact is, with the Sonic porn becoming rampant all over the internet, don't you think it's a reasonable idea to simply halt the production and distribution of this garbage? I mean, sure, some people may enjoy it, even if they are perverted no lads living in their basement, but I certainly don't. And when I turn 18, I will still find this unsettling, because these pictures of Sonic Hentai not only misrepresent the Sonic franchise, it completely avoids it. Sonic was part of my childhood. The Sega Genesis, the Sonic games, the comics, that whole deal. But when I see this crap, it seems Sonic's reputation is compromised by the raging hormones of fans who couldn't even give a damn what the real Sonic and associated characters think and act. They wish to replace the real Sonic characters with robots who tend to, to their every whim and assume the positions of deadly Sonic porn that could traumatize a generation of Sonic fans. Now, would you want that? Apparently not. There's no way I can get rid of the Sonic hentai. It's, it's me against the collective sex drives of hormonal teenagers and fangirls fanboys living in their respective basements all day, but it's just too much of an eyesore for the Sonic fan, and it would be ap appreciated if the production of such crap were to be limited. Like, let's not get this garbage permeate, let's not let this garbage permeate Google or other search engines. 
like I said before, if you enjoy Sonic Hentai, then fine. Go ahead and see the pervertedness of it. I'm not going to stop you from seeing this crap, but it's just a travesty and a living monument to the rip misrepresentation of the Sonic franchise. It's unwanted and highly superfluous. But I guess it's always going to be there. There's always going to be that raging perverted fanboy or fangirl who wishes to, set to pl splatter their fantasies on paper. Well, I guess that's about it for my Sonic Hentai rant. Thank you for listening to this rant, and please comment. Thank you.